Hey everybody, this is Wes. Welcome. This is a short video this time. I just thought I'd throw it up. It's of this bottle I was painting. I don't have a reference photo for it. I was uh, it, I just set it on the shelf and painted it from there. 11 by 14 canvas. And I don't always paint from from real life. Normally I'm painting from photographs just uh, just from practical ease of access, that sort of thing, which is a lot easier. I do think it's beneficial to at least return to real life painting once in a while. There's some hard to explain reason behind that, I'm not, and I'm not sure exactly what that is. I do know that painting only from photographs, sometimes a painting can become a little more stilted, a little more static. It doesn't necessarily do that, it just depends on the artist and, and how they paint. This was a very quick painting to do. The drippy, wet painting process in the beginning. I don't know if I was totally aware that I was doing it, but I don't. I don't give a lot of stock to the to the very beginning of a painting anyway. I'm um, just laying down the color, not thinking about it too much. And then the the next steps, each in turn, I work on refining it and actually caring about how it goes. So all the drippy stuff, I mean, I guess it was partly on purpose just to give it kind of a drippy feel, and if I saw anything that I liked, I would keep it. Uh, and that happened, and I liked it. So this literally is almost finished. I, uh, <laughs> like I said, don't have a lot to say about it. Kind of going back in, this is the kind of the details of it, uh, solidifying and and refining those important details. I don't spend a lot of time, uh, any time, on the background as far as details go because there's no details. I enjoy how this one came out. It's a nice little painting. And I like the color combination of the blue and the pink. I don't normally use those too often. And that was all kind of in my head. I did the shelf was white and the background was brown, I think, or well, you can see the wall in the background, that chipboard. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe and click like if you like the video. It helps out.